in Pro Tools you can you can you can store automation. You can you can change the levels of things and record the actual changing of the levels. So what I'm gonna show you is that every track has a bunch of different um, options, the different screens you can look at. On on an audio track, you can also go to this volume, right? And this line represents the volume of the track. So if at the second bar I want the volume to go down a little bit, I can actually highlight just that part and change it so that when this audio plays, when it reaches this point, the volume is going to go down a certain amount of decibels. It's going to go down negative 10.8 decibels from zero, which it was at. All right. If I wanted, I could also do this, I could also copy this information to the next track. I could go bring the next one to automation volume so that every single one of these does the same exact thing and it'll change at that point. So when it plays and reaches past that point, all the faders will go down just 10, 10 decibels down. And then once that little section is over, it's gonna go right back up to where it was.